This is the sound that was sweet music to boxing trainer Emmanuel Stewart. The rat-a-tat-tat from the likes of Thomas Hearns, Milton McCrory, Jimmy Paul, and the other champions filled the basement of the rec center on Detroit's west side. Kronk, the name, and the boxing team that trained here became known worldwide, just like the Motown sound. Look, look at the gym now. Right, right. This is the Kronk Community Center today. Thomas Hearns was Kronk's biggest star. He came back to see what has happened to his former boxing home. I spent all my days right here at Kronk, working hard every day. Kronk was vandalized for its copper pipes and wiring before then-Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick closed it permanently in 2006. The worst is doors. <laughs> Vandals and scrappers have busted their way in once again, taking what they could and leaving their mark. Jimmy Paul, another of Kronk's champions, took a look inside with us. He thought the building had already been torn down. Things happen, times go on, you know, ain't nobody here forever, you know. We look at it and be blessed while we're here and just take it as it comes, because there's a lot of stuff you can't change. In the graffiti marred gym, a floor above where the boxers trained, Hearns, for just a moment, imagined himself back in time. Was down, I, I have four. That's a net. <laughs> Only now, there is no net, or basket for that matter, and likely no future for Kronk. This isn't the Kronk you remember. No, it's terrible. It's a lot of great memories here, though. City officials tell Detroit 2020 Kronk is not on the demolition list for blighted buildings, but in a financially broken city, the sister of the late Emmanuel Stewart fears Kronk is down for the count. His goal still, as sick as he was, is he wanted to get back home here. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.